designated as wrongfully detained. Well, no fucking shit. And it's Roger Karski's working on this case. Um, first of all, there's a process that the State Department is running. We got to let that process go. My colleague at the State Department uh, spoke to this already moments ago. So we got to let that process. We have to make sure that we get uh, the information. The most important thing at this moment is to, to get a counselor uh, to Evan. Uh, and that's what we're working on. <laughs> Uh, a big push by the Foley Foundation and families of other detainees, wrong, uh, uh, those who believe uh, their family members have been wrongfully detained abroad, uh, for uh, the Levinson Act to be uh, reformed on Capitol Hill uh, to provide it with more resources and for wrongful detainees to be designated more quickly. Is that something the administration supports? I don't have anything to share about uh, the Levinson Act. What I can say is, and I said this moments ago, regardless uh, of whether someone has received a wrongfully uh, uh, detention designation, the, the State Department uh, it, it seeks counselor access for all Americans who are held abroad. Uh, that is a commitment that you will see from the State Department, and that is a commitment that you'll see from, uh, from this president. And that's what we're working on right now for Evan. Well, duh. Yeah. Thanks, Kareem. Uh, two questions. First, uh, related to the president's trip to Mississippi, Rolling Fork is a, a city that is predominantly black, and the median income is $38,000. <clears> there are many communities like Rolling Fork that are, um, you know, uh, susceptible to these type of natural disasters <coughs> caused by climate change. Uh, what is the administration's? What does the administration say to these type of communities who are uh, concerned that they could? see the same type of devastation that we saw um, in Roman Fort. Get out of here! <laughs>